I am so delighted to be able to present this award. I've known Yafa for many years, and um, she really embodies uh, a whole bunch of things that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Um, in 1989, um, the then Family Services was awarded the Microsoft Employee Assistance Program contract. And this was just before the explosive growth in Microsoft uh, in their population. And by 1991, we couldn't hire people fast enough. And so I in, in 1991, I hired Yapa, along with three other, two other therapists, to help fill that need that Microsoft was throwing at us. Now, Yapa proved to be an excellent therapist and had a real talent for working with very difficult clients. She really showed herself to be really good with that. Uh, it became clear to her that many of our clients' issues could have been avoided with early childhood intervention. Making that connection between the issues of her adult clients and the idea of what could have been if their needs had been addressed early on became the aha moment that changed the path of her career. Driven by this passion for early intervention and prevention, Yapa showed herself to be a voracious learner, taking classes uh, and becoming involved with one of the local training institutes where she developed much of her knowledge of early human development. Always the doer, Yapa wasn't content to just learn about these things. She wanted to do something about it. With the mindset of a public health official rather than a therapist, and believe me, they're different, <laughs> Yapa set out to touch as many lives, uh, as many of the lives of babies as possible. She created a small program called Listening Mothers, a name that came to her in a dream. Uh, and through sheer force of will, transformed it into a countywide and beyond program that cur currently reaches hundreds of new mothers each year. More recently, Yaka has, been, has seen herself as a connector of people and programs. She seems to be aware of every ch early childhood program in the world. That's only a slight exaggeration. Uh, she's great at putting people together with common ideas for better solutions. We should note that both Paul and her husband, uh, both Yafa and her husband Paul, really prefer to fly under the radar in terms of philanthropy, and that this is a bit of a stretch for her to even be here tonight. Being honored is not something that is particularly comfortable or wished for by either one of them. While Yafa's financial contributions to Wellspring have been great, her greater contribution, I really want to stress this, her greater contribution to the agency has been her persuasiveness that the true way to address root causes uh, is to intervene at the earliest possible point, back to early childhood and even prenatal times. The agency's move to providing more infant mental health services really was driven by Yafa and her persistence in helping us to understand prevention's value and to discover the best practices through programs like Listening Mothers, Bringing Baby Home, and now Cornerstone. Today, when she's not working toward peace in the Middle East, not an exaggeration, she's involved in the emerging area of mindfulness. Once again, Yafa has participated with others, uh, and some in this room tonight, in rounding up the leaders of this movement, including the Dalai Lama, to help transform the world. We're pr privileged and honored to have her as such a good friend of the agency, and anticipate this was, that this will be a lifelong relationship. Please invite, please join me in inviting Yafa to accept this award. He said it's not something that I'm very comfortable with, but um, when I started to work at family services, I knew that they are devoted to the growth and development of the, the population that they serve. But was, what really came as a, a surprise, because you don't always expect from agencies to be like that, and this, this was not the first agency I worked at, that this agency, Family Services Wellspring, was devoted to the growth and development of the, the organization itself, and I think that's why it was relatively easy to have this kind of dialogue about what next. And I feel that I had basically had a little match and lit one little candle 
but you took this candle and lit a big bonfire. <laughs> and really, and it became like a guiding light, I think, for this community, with all the different things that you are adopting from the community in partnership, like the, all the services that you have, that you, they bring basically the best kind of evidence-based, effective services into the community as much as money allows. And I think this is just wonderful. So congratulations to you. Thank <laughs> you.